hopefully it resets. So I'm just gonna do this editing real quick that way. Yeah, that way it'll be a lot easier. Really hope like <laughs> by restarting the restarting the uh, what's it called restarting the uh, like reset the internet will fix the problem. I mean, if if it doesn't, <laughs> then well, that sucks. There isn't much I can do. They just want the internet's like, nah, you got a bad RNG today trying to ruin your stream <laughs> that's weird yeah I did lower the quality a little bit so that way it's not it doesn't eat up as much internet I hope but I would like to stream it on the highest if it's possible but eh, sometimes you just can <laughs> Sometimes just can't do that, but it's okay though. Okay. I'm guessing everything is uh, normal now, I suppose. No lag, nothing yet, I hope. Because if it does have lag, then... <laughs> Rip. Alright, let's continue. We've been, we've been stalled too long for the... Uh, was it called stall too long for the for the internet connection thing is like it's kind of annoying so let's do it we gotta continue the run hopefully i'll finish the whole thing today even if it takes multiple parts still gonna do it oh yeah i forgot my headset put on the uh volume a little bit all right so far so far it seems uh, okay because I haven't I norm normally I check my own stream and see if there's like lag or anything because I'll know if there's lag so have a screen on the uh, the screen on the computer so yeah as long as long it's not lagging out it's okay you know even if it's just like not a not a full HD, but I mean still watchable, so we'll be okay. I think I went to the wrong place. Yep. <laughs> I was uh, trying to read a chat and while playing it, it's kind of <laughs> go to the wrong direction. But yeah, I'm gonna go up there and then I'll I'll show the build because I don't know if the build even went through or not in the last uh, the previous stream because. Uh, it, I don't remember where it got cut out from, so I'll just I'll, I'll just redo that real quick. It's kind of annoying. Like I said, it's unusual the internet cut off like that, but sometimes you just gotta you know hope just gotta hope it uh, it resets because uh, yeah, there's not much you can do about it. At least the internet's still able to run it. It's not like it just uh, it's completely off. For the whole night, then that would be stupid. <laughs> that would really sucks. I really want to finish the whole run in one one stream, though. But eh, even if I just split to a couple parts, that's okay. If I were streaming on a PS5, I'm pretty sure that thing will run just fine, honestly. Um, because the capture card does take a lot of uh, take a lot of internet to stream it, so you basically need a whole bunch to do so.
Mm. We finally made it up here. It takes so long to get back up here because you can't use a, you can't save and you can't use a, and fast travel. So I'm gonna go over the bill as usual in the each fight. You don't need the plus 99. I just have the plus 99 so I can fight fight Robin 1v1 on the uh, Supreme. So you can have a plus 30 and it works just fine. Armor don't really matter because I'm using an accessory. It's fine, not really a big deal. I forgot the armor. Uh, this one is, I think it's Aldred. Actually, I'm just gonna use mine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give him mine real quick because uh, he can use mine and I'll swap back in a bit. So hazard skill is not really necessary. You can use hazard or you can just use the chain really. Um, it's not really a big deal. Like I talked about earlier is pretty much all your AIs just carry buffs. They don't really have anything like important or something, but she does have a Zen fighter and a galvanize. But if you don't have like enough accuracy, just use a, just use this. That way you can uh, beat her pretty quick. The fight isn't super long. It's pretty quick. So not many need it. Because Bercoli's fire is actually probably the easiest out of all of them. So all you gotta do is just have enough accuracy and finish the fight. And uh, that's about it. Then yeah, let's do this. I don't have strength food, but I don't think I need it. And uh, we'll be okay. If you want overkill, just buff a lot. But she's she's not really like the hardest one. As you can see, you can just use the chain and kill them. And that's the, that's pretty much it. Like she has probably the lowest HP out of all the others, so you can just do that real quick. <laughs> Can't connect to the server, really? Come on. It's not like I can really connect to the server, like, in the dungeon, so it's not really a big deal. <laughs> now you fight her, I think. Can I change? Yep, I can. Cool. I'm just gonna swap my uh, DPS armor back and then... <laughs> Two multiplayers. I don't know if you can do multiplayers uh, in the uh, floors. <laughs> I know you can. You can do it in the abandoned, but not... But not like... Not like this. Low 40 is done. You can just uh, wrap that up. Not bad. She's probably the easiest one out of all of them, really. I mean, you can just uh, you can just beat you can just beat her pretty quick and then uh, go to the next floor. So far so good, like, I haven't seen any, like, message pop up say it's, it's laggy, so it'll be okay though, I hope. <laughs> I really want to finish the run, so that way, that way we're fine. 
right to the 60s. Yeah, like I said, once you get past the floor 20s, uh, everything is going up much, much faster. There's like not many, not many like slow runs. You can just go up much, much faster. Who's my favorite? It's Liz. <laughs> mm. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I do like the other characters. They are awesome. already done mm -hmm. I don't know I, I I just I don't know her character is so interesting I mean because it's kind of it's probably mainly because her hair I guess <laughs> her hair her look um, other than that I think because that is one back in the day when I like watched the animes and stuff, she always she's always like very interesting. I think most people probably like uh what's it called? Like most people probably like Asuna and the other I do like Asuna and the others. They're they're good characters. I think Alice would be like most people favor but the thing is like the like if you watch like the first season of the anime then you'll mostly likely get attracted to these character much more and then the season three is they have a lot of good characters in the season three i mean not season three the no, world of the underworld um because like there's so many characters that's new <laughs> We're probably not gonna see them that often. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah. Yuki, everybody likes Yuki pretty much. It's kinda. It's kinda expected. Um, let me see, is there anybody else? Hmm. Like, what about male characters, though? We're all talking about female characters. <laughs> where, where are the male characters at? <laughs> Gotta give them some love. It's kind of funny. Is then either the anime or the game is all like it's all like female characters, like the guys besides Yu-Gi-Oh or something. No. Nah. I mean, Klein's pretty good. Cause like, cause like, he's kind of like the homie back in the day, you know, like when you started the adventure with him. <laughs> he's our homie. Hey, what's up, Marn? How's it going? Mm, I need a buff here, because... That's good to hear. 
Yeah, it seems like when I drop it to 1080 30 FPS with a 5 megabyte upload, it seems like it seems works pretty fine. So the quality isn't too bad. I mean, compared to 60 FPS, obviously it will look so much better, but eh, it's not it's not really bad. It's just hey, at least there's no there's no like glitches or interact like interruptions for the stream, but like I say, it's totally unusual. So everything is uh, back to normal. At least that's good. I mean, anything at 1080p is still looks the best. Like honestly, because when I edit the video, I intend to keep the same as usual. But in the video, is 10 uh, 1080. 30 FPS, but I, when I compress the videos down so I can upload it faster. Other than that, it's pretty good. The one thing about streaming is that you got to have good internet to stream it. It's like, that's one of the things. It's like, there's a difference between streaming on the uh, console and streaming on the uh, graphics. I mean, a capture card is just. You might only need like a few megabyte for 1080p for or less for the console, but you need like almost 10 times more on the capture card. So that's why it can lead to like low bandwidth and stuff. And then you'll start seeing the blurry like screen like frozen and stuff. So I might just keep it low to be honest. It's not like really a big deal. But I much prefer to have a highest, highest one. But it's kind of funny. When I streamed the full DLC, everything was fine. Nothing happened. Yeah, Twitch is like... I think Twitch might have better ones um, for the... For the uh, quality and... What's it called? Qualities and, and uh, I don't know about connections, but qualities for sure. I mean, since they're they're made for streaming, because I don't stream like a lot, a lot. That's why I don't do it on Twitch, because YouTube is um, simpler for me. I know you have more, like you'll get more features on uh, Twitch to do so, and um, yeah, it's actually a lot better qualities over there. But I only stream like once a while, so yeah, I wouldn't mind if I stream a lot, then I'll be definitely using that for sure. It's kind of funny, I create accounts, but I don't use it. I normally just use it to watch it sometimes with my if my friend's streams or something, I'll watch it a little bit because I never really have time to sit there to watch the whole stream, that's the thing. And plus the time differences, like you know, sometimes I'm at work when they're streaming and I can't watch it. So yeah. Because uh, SAO games, a lot of people, they they are from different part of the countries and stuff. <laughs> it's quite, it's quite different. Mm, yeah, those characters are awesome. Sumeragi and uh, Rain. Seven is more interesting though, because uh, Ring and Seven, they're both awesome. We we'll like to use Ring, but the thing is, they don't allow you to carry certain characters in this game, especially for the DLC. Mm -hmm. It's kind of it's kind of sucks because. The different the different time zones and stuff. Especially for AL, everybody's like I, I met mean, there's a lot of people from like the the uh the EU from some part of the Asia from like definitely from the US um yeah, from all over. It's kind of insane though, like... Mm. 
Ah, oh, crap. Wrong one. Yeah, in Canada as well, for sure. Um, there's a lot of North and North America. I don't know about South America. I'm pretty sure there's some. For sure, you know, there's some here and there. Um, definitely EU. It's pretty. It's pretty globally. Like this game is uh, quite diverse. It's kind of interesting though. Usually anime games, they are like... There are a lot of people from different countries, they play it. They watch the anime, they play the game and stuff. It's nice. Some of them play in different language for this game as well. Definitely interesting. <laughs> oh, I can't read it. But I can see what that's about, but that's about it. It's just like... I can't really, can't really read different ones. I can read, I can read somewhat of JP and stuff, but... Uh, what's the best sore? The nice guy. The SP nice guy so far in the game currently the second one is probably the uh, the stainless steel that's the, the SP version of it all right now I'm gonna go over my uh, <laughs> it's all towards it all low. <laughs> we can get that low. So for my team, the weapon don't matter too much. It's just a buff again. So carry different buffs, and then having cooldown. So my T say will be my main DPS because I have her sword from the uh, from the ancient apostle. And it definitely makes it a lot easier to kill these mobs. But you don't have to get the sword at all if you want it to complete the uh, this part of the uh, requirement. So I just use her for main DPS. That's about it. So similar setups. Actually, let me see. Yeah, similar setups. I do need to switch the uh, Hazard Incarnation. So yeah. Now the thing is, with if you don't have the sword, you but you, the thing is, you can use silica as well. If you get this dagger, she can be your DPS, and it's just as fast as the. It's actually faster than using the one hand sword to clear this area with the AOE. So she can beat the DPS easily, and you don't really need to plus a whole lot. Even with uh, plus fifty, is enough to clear this area pretty fast. So. I don't have her as a DPS, I have her as a buffer, so you can technically use the dagger user to clear this round like very efficient, like super efficient. And as a uh, last but not least for like Ronier, it's just a uh, buff. It's more buffs, because you pretty much just use three buffers and then just one DPS to go through the area. And yeah. Do this. Hey, what's up, buddy? I think the stream is back to normal now. I don't see no problem. I would prefer to give the uh, Tiger Resolve to Silica, that way it can clear even more faster, it can have even more DPS. Hey, what's up, Luca? <laughs> the stream bugged out for the internet, so I have to uh, restart it. It's weird.
<laughs> yeah, that's hilarious. One H is here is really fun, actually. <laughs> One piece. Yeah, the sword is OP. Clear is super fast. But yeah, like I say, if you don't have the sword, just use the dagger. Because the dagger will be a lot easier to mop this area. Yeah, one piece is OP, for sure. <laughs> yeah, the XT thousand full knife is better than the uh, the Y spark. There's no there's no question about it. Way better. The one thing about the 1H AoE is not as like not as powerful as the dagger AoE because uh because like because like it's not as like wide as the uh, the other one. But it certainly does a lot of damage. Are they are they any better than it? Yeah, you can probably get one from the, uh, just by doing the normal Ancient Apostle, and you'll get it. Ooh, this time I got all three of them. Damn, the spawn is so slow. DSP. I'm not quite sure. Um, oh, you mean Selka one? I, I don't think I, I don't have Selka. <laughs> uh, I mean, not Selka. Never mind. I read it wrong. Well, it's kind of hard to. <laughs> it's kind of hard to fight at the same time. Um. You should have finished your damage with the SP version. Uh, it will be a lot more for sure, easily. Especially if we have more caps and stuff.
Mm, play through this and feel like I'm okay. Yourself. Yeah, it take it takes a long time to get through it. Definitely. It's not as it's not as uh, it's not as uh, quick. Like you really have to prepare for the supreme if you want to get the sword. That's one of the. <laughs> she's pretty. She's pretty cool though. I mean, Tisa is uh, interesting for sure. I mean, Ronie, she's she's not bad. Get through chapter one. It's not too long. I mean. <laughs> The one thing is like, take your time, you'll be okay. Mm, hold on, it's like, let me check something. I hope these stuff don't go into my temporary storage. Okay, <laughs> that's good. I don't want to pick up a lot of stuff and then it just goes in there. Right, last one, we should be able to finish it. Okay, done. Yeah, that's not too bad. Like I said, clear this part of the... It's probably one of the hardest ones. Because these enemies aren't... It's like... Easy, I say it. But if you have a dagger user, you can clear this run like really fast. Even with one H as well, it works. The DLC 2 weapons? You mean the 5 star one? Because that's, that's the only thing you technically get in the DLC 2, but there's also... I don't think there's other weapons though. Um, uh, not enough damage. Yeah, the thing about damage in this game, like, you have to learn the mechanics. Um, let me see if I need to change. Uh, I don't need to change anything. Yeah, I don't need to change anything. This is the only sword you get from the DLC, but the thing is, it's not a, it's the probably, like, one of the hardest thing to get in this game is like if you can get it um, is by that this is really the only weapon you can get in this like well besides Yu-Gi-Oh one actually yeah besides his and yours I don't think there's like weapons in the DLC too like considering weapons because they drop from just the normal updates because these swords like you get them from by beating the supreme to get them so there's really not many like weapons in the DLCs there are just like three, I think, three five star. That's about it. I mean, they don't really give you like weapons, um, the new weapons. Like the weapons you get are like free from updates, but they are in the DLC too. They they add it in with the uh, the other stuff. So so technically, those are the three weapons you can get. That well, plus one of the one of the uh, Rogu's axe, but that's not that good. So that's pretty much it. There's not like, there's not like, like weapons you can really get besides the best weapons you can get. So it's just the five star weapons. Okay, clear that, clear the floor. So once we get to floor 80s, things will be quick. So 38 minutes plus the previous stream, so it's almost, maybe almost two and a half hours. I might be able to finish the run in four hours or less. Depends. Because that's really, that's really good speed. If I really optimize my builds and stuff, I can probably beat it in three hours. But the thing is, um, the thing is like, I don't really need to 
go that quick. I'm just mostly streaming it so I can talk about the builds and the for the AIs. Not for yourself, but for most of the AIs. Because the AI, like your character is actually pretty pretty straightforward to build. But the thing is, when it comes to AIs, not as not as easy. Um, Okay, my strength food runs out. I'm gonna eat that real quick. Uh, do I need anything? Nope, I don't. Let's go. 64 days left. So this is pretty fast to get up here. But the thing is, once you get to floor 80s, it's gonna disappear. <laughs> so it's kind of annoying. They're gonna take away all your days. So you don't have a lot of days. This part of the fight is pretty straightforward. All you gotta do is really use the... It's gotta buff all. It's gonna get speed and hold him down real quick. Cause I have way too much damage. So you have to fight eight of these things. So, well, not the same thing, but eight of them, like the ancient apostle bosses. So sometimes people get confused, like, like what are the ancient apostle bosses? That's them. You fight eight. Of, there's there are eight of them in the game. So when, but you don't fight this thing to get weapons right here, but you fight them individually in different maps, and then you get them to level nine nine nine. Shadow Dominator, that's the froggy. You can do this pretty much the same stuff just by using a galactic jewel and a stainless steel. But like I say, it's definitely recommended to pick up one of that sort if you want to do supreme. But normal, it doesn't matter. You can beat it with two galactic jewel easily. Like normal and extreme, they're fine. But it's just once you get to the supreme, you will need some of the OP gears to take them on because supreme is not easy. Um, at all. I mean, it might look easy in in like when I'm like playing it and do it, but I can tell you guys it's not easy at all. So it's a uh, it's quite difficult. Like the first time I'm doing it, it, it's it took me a while to do it too. It wasn't like it wasn't as fast. But once you have the team build, you'll be okay. Honestly, like for me, it's like the loading screen is more the more the boss fight itself. Okay, he did use Garo. I wasn't gonna use Garo, but I'm like, eh, maybe I should do it because he's if one swipe, I might get killed. Oh, they unequip my. Uh, they unequip my AI's clothes. <laughs> whenever the server gets disconnect from, like, whenever you get disconnect from their server, like, it unequip your gears and stuff. Ugh, it's quite annoying. Let me see if I can put them back. Uh, actually, the sword doesn't need the skin. I like the original skin. Hey, what's up, Derek? How's it going? 
I'm doing pretty good. Uh, I hope you're doing pretty good as well. I think Roku, you can't change his. Yeah. But he can certainly have one of these axes. Skin color. I probably should save real quick. Now the other key point is that whenever you do the... Uh, Whenever you do the extreme and supreme, try to save as much as you can, because you'll need it. Kobo lore. <coughs> We're making good progress. We're mopping up through the floors, so... <laughs> that, that, that actually sounds weird, mop the floors, but that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> We're literally just mopping each floor. Just go up. Or going down, not up. Cause it's cause it's layers, not up. This is why I use AoE for this guy. There's too many kobolds. And that way you can hazard them all at once. Four down, four more. Like these boss fight isn't like too too bad. It's just they they're high levels and you need more accuracies. That's one of the thing about Supreme is that you need accuracy, but not as much as DPS. It's just like the amount of accuracy you needed for your AIs to get through them. It's... Ugh, I can't buff. Sometimes like the, sometimes it's buggy because when I'm trying to buff and the... the Skull Reaper has that buff where like you don't really, you don't really do too much damage. Just trying to kill with a chain if it's possible. Uh, and then she puts a thing near 70. Okay, yeah, I think they they drop they drop a lot of those uh, XT stuff. Some SP is the SP stuff is random. Uh, they're not like the OP OP SP stuff, but they're just uh, SP stuff. There's a lot of XT stuff and like SP stuff that drops throughout the dungeons so you can technically get some good gears just by doing the floors but if you don't have to farm like you don't have to farm like the uh what's it called to do the to do the apostles or something to get some good steel armor i think you can get the steel armor pretty early in the normal runs like just floor two and three you can get steel armors i think it's so cheesy so you can technically get steel armor just right off the back Save you a lot of time farming the. Save you a lot of time farming the. What's it called? Apostle sometimes. Alright, I think a couple more. These loading screens are longer than the boss fight itself a lot of time. <laughs> it's so long. Ugh. You can literally go get a cup of coffee and come back and it's still there. It's like, it's kind of insane though. Alright, two more. Sitting, sitting after a while kind of sucks because like the computer chair is totally uncomfortable, it butt hurts. When I play games, I don't play it on computer screens that much. I play it on a, play on the TV because it's much more comfortable. It's hard to sit right on a computer and play this for hours.
<clears throat> All right, one more. Then we can wrap up this floor. Move on to the 80s. I'll try to spawn the steel armor guys real quick if it's possible because uh, I'll show you guys how to do it since uh, even though I already showed in the video but uh, might as well if I can get them that is I mean I'll just go for one kills and see if I can get some of them I don't I don't have booster on I might not get a lot but if you do have the booster on you get a lot of them a lot of drops quite a bit Okay, last one. Gun. Sweet. They aren't like they they're not a, like the they're like the first form from the most of these uh, ancient apostle bosses are like the first form before they before they go in their second form from the level 200s but they're not too too difficult it's just that it's just that the, the skull reaper is actually quite annoying other than that mm. Yeah, you can get a lot of owl shards from the floor um, just by opening the chests and stuff. It's it's pretty cool. You know, you can uh, pick up some owl shards that way. It does take a lot to upgrade though. That's the problem. All right, now this floor is pretty much finished. Just need to do the just need to do the boss fight and go up. Oops. <laughs> I'm gonna check my buff. I always forget, like, whenever I go back to Centauri, I wanna check my buffs and it doesn't work. Instead of say hi, instead of check buff, you actually say hi and stuff. Alright, she's gonna give me a lot of shards. So every time you complete that run, Karna will give you some of the shards. 20 small. 20 medium that's it I mean that's literally <laughs> that's literally nothing well I mean it's better than nothing I suppose yeah so show you playing solo you will get some of the good shards in early run let me see if they go in my temporary storage Yep, they did. I need to clear out a little bit. Now the temporary storage can only store like seven items, so you definitely don't want all the stuff going in there. Okay, back to the floor 60s. Boss fight time.
The one good thing about this is that you don't have to travel no more. You can just use the teleporter. So much easier to get up to the floors now. Just the first 20 levels during the story is stupid. That takes a long time for you to can actually travel up there without walking at 20 floors each time. Okay, I'll stick with this for a bit because uh, there's still a little bit mob fight before we actually start the actual boss fight. So I'm gonna keep it AOE for now. doing pretty good on time besides if if the game if the internet didn't like like lag out or something we would have been probably around close to three hours to get the floor 60s so it's not too bad but i su suggest like take your time like don't like rush through it like there's no point until you set up like the right gears and stuff um It'll be a while you can before you can actually just speed run up there. This uh, this is why I prepare the uh, I prepare before I fight. I, I knew how difficult it was when I first fought them. So what the? He used Tiger Resolve Plus. Wait, did I get that one? Hold on a second. I want to see. I know that's in the buff. Uh, Yo, I did get it, cool. That was one of the arcos, but I can't trigger it all the time though. Ugh. Alright, boss fight time. I'm gonna swap the swap the DPS real quick. I wish I can use my axe versus his axe. That would be fun. <laughs> let's see who's. Let's see which axe is better. What the? Oh, I thought I only locked on. Okay, now this phase I can actually kill him now. Okay, floor 60 is clear. Let me go see if I can get the steel armor guy spawn real quick. When I get there. If I see them spawn ones, I'll kill them. But if I don't see them, uh, if you don't see them, you just keep going back to the, this floor and trying to spawn them. Because sometimes it does take about like two to three refresh. 
I mean, I, I mean, I have time to do that, but uh, I hope I get it in one time deal, so I don't have to refresh it if I don't have to. So once you complete this uh, floor 60s on the Supreme, then you can go to the next part of the game to try to farm for the steel armor. So this is where you have to get to to access the save points and stuff if you want to farm for the the unrivaled steel armor, that version of it. It's not as easy, but it, do, it definitely takes a lot of time to clear through it. Each run to get up here, it takes about like a few hours. So. So you gotta once you get up here, just one time deal. So farm as much as possible because you can't leave. So you gotta farm the one that you wanted and leave after. Okay, I don't see it. So it's not in the 61, 62, but you can get it at floor 61 if you're lucky sometimes. Okay, I think this is, uh, yeah, this is the right floor. So we got actually early 63, right? Yeah, floor 63. Hopefully they spawn. If they spawn, they'll be nice. Hey, they did spawn. Cool. So what you gotta do is once you find this floor, sometimes it can be somewhere in the range between 61 to 69. But don't go to 70, because if you go to 70, you only got 10 days left. So if you see the days down there, 54, like this will drop to 10 as soon as you get to... Uh, as soon as soon as you get to floor 70s and that will progress to 80 so let's see if we can get a steel armor here real quick let's do that Hey, I did get a steel armor, nice. <laughs> I imagine that's a good one. Or... Trying to get some shine for TV. Let's go. Yeah, with the booster, you can get more than one for sure, easily. Hey, there's two. Whoa, what the? Oh! Yeah, you gotta watch out for these guys too when they shoot the... Uh... When they shoot the... Uh, what's it called? The... Uh... They can kill you. I forgot I don't have eye walls on, so I gotta ask them quick. Don't shoot! So I got three steel armors there, that's not too bad. Uh, plus uh, plus skills are usually from the the items, like you see, like the items. So you can get it from the you can get it from accessories, your well, your weapon, your armor, so anything like any of these categories can give you the uh, can give you the uh, plus skills. Now let's see what kind of steel armors we get. So, there's one, ugh, that's not good. Uh, this is meh either. Oh my goodness. <laughs> why, why, why is there no incarnation slot? Come on, game. 
Why is there no incarnation slot for this one? This would have been a really good steel armor despite the dex is lower. But you can get the you can actually get get a really good one. The, that will be your good DPS one. But yeah, the, the strength and agility goes up to 106 as far as I've seen. The dex is probably around 50, maybe, somewhere. I haven't seen anything higher than that, so ugh, such a troll. But in order to farm it, all you got to do is um, travel this thing and travel back. If you don't open any chests. And they'll be there. So you just keep killing over and over. You kill six of them and travel back and travel back and forth here. Like you can just uh, you can just uh, keep killing them and get the uh, steel armor. And uh, I don't really need it, so since I already found mine, so yeah, that's how you do the uh, steel armor one, Luca. If you want to find the steel armor, you just have to find that map. If they don't spawn, you got to go back to floor sixties and refresh. So if you do find it, then you can just uh, keep doing that. It's pretty nice. We must continue the floor 70s. Let's uh, get to the boss fight. Sometimes you can get two of the same room as well, so be aware. You can get multiple ones if you're lucky. Not just one, you can get more than one if you keep going up to the floor if you're if you're lucky. Normally you get one, but sometimes you get two. Or even three. If you're very, very lucky. Hey, what's up, Mariotas? How's it going? It's been a while. Wait, what floor am I on? 68. Okay, one more. Alright, here's the thing, like if you if you reach floor 70 you'll you'll end up going to floor 80, so watch watch the day. So so I have um I have 54 days left in my game right now. You'll see how many days left when you get up to the uh, floor 80. Yeah, getting ready for the uh, Supreme, that's nice. Awesome. Yeah, it does take a lot of preparations for it, so it's uh, it's gotta take your time. It is not easy to set it up though, especially like your AIs and stuff. It takes some time. Oops, I didn't mean to use that. Let's continue to the 80s. Floor 70. It'll be a lot easier once we get to the 80s. Because the 80s, you don't need to fight too many. It's just a little bit. I do a lot of self. Yeah, those cooldowns. Yeah. Definitely. You know that get sixteen copies. Definitely took a definitely will take a long time. I wish I saved most of them from back in the day because I did so many south back in the day. I, I had a lot of those. But I think I only had like ten copies, I think. <laughs> but it's more than enough for me to actually finish it. I didn't I don't really need to have 16 copies, but if you have 16 copies of that and then the cloak, then it'll be super fast, cool down. And you can make it a lot easier for sure. You know, definitely a lot easier. But farming 16 copies of that is actually not as easy because south it takes seven minutes per run. Like even with the fastest, it still takes seven minutes per run. It's kind of stupid because we can't go straight to the bosses. Mm hmm. 
Now the spawn is which goes to which. I line them up. So that way I know... I mean, if I start with my character, and sometimes I just write it down, like... Or take a picture of it, who has that set, who has that, who has that. And that way I don't get confused on, like, it'll be... It'll be, like, difficult to... To really, like, just know who's having... That's, that's the one thing of this game, is that they don't tell you who's equipping it. It would be nice if they actually do that. <laughs> yeah, let's take a picture. That way you'll know. I think this is the floor 80. Okay, we made it to floor 80 in eh, 3 hours, excluding all the lags, all the res like that one restart. You see? You see the right corner? 10 days left. So no matter how many days you have, if you have 60s, 50s, whatever, you get up here, you only have 10 days. So it doesn't matter. This is why I say if you find a steel armor, don't come up to here. If you go back, you only have 10 days to farm. So instead of going to 70s, you go back to 60s. So you keep all your days. If you come up here now, you won't, you won't have any like, you won't have any like, you know, any more days. You only have 10 left. So just be aware of that when you do farm the steel armor, don't go to floor 70s. Otherwise you will lose all the days. That's like, they took away like 40 plus days. For whatever reasons. It shouldn't take them 40 plus days to get up like 10 floors. Like seriously. <laughs> what have they been doing for that that many days? Like for real. How do you spend like... How do you spend like uh, a, a few days to get up to the... Uh, get up there and then now you just uh, need like so many days. I forgot to change the passive. Can I change it now? Let me see. Okay, cool, I can. Yep, like just use AoEs whenever you fight mobs because you don't you don't really need like you don't really need DPS. That's the only time you'll fight uh, you will need DPSs that fighting the fighting the bosses, so it's much easier to hazard everyone at once. So that way they get, that way they don't attack you. But you can do it one by one if you really want to. But why not just kill all of them at once? Uh, that way it's a lot easier. Although do wheel is not like the best for AOEs and stuff, but. If I want to make it much much easier, I could just swap to a like a dagger or a spear and I will just mop the floor much much faster. I love the floor 80s. It's so nice. This town is so nice. Also, this is where you find the uh well, not in the floor, but like there is a map. Some people get confused how you, uh, I'll just do that real quick. So what you have to do is to unlock this uh, floor 80 maps, uh, well, the actual map that in the in the, uh, the region is that you have to travel up here and then go through this one here. You have to, you have to go through this, wait, this or the one down, no, this one here. Yeah, you have to travel to the left here and then to get to the, uh, this map, which is down here the world bus plateau so once you get here there's a fast travel activate that real quick you have to walk all the way down there there's another fast travel back here this is where the divine the level 900 divine beast at this is where you'll go and fight him so yeah extreme oh you don't have them rip <laughs> yeah so this is where you'll get the to fight the divine bees so yeah I'm going the same way, because in the story, you actually go there. Like some maps, you have to go through the, uh, you have to go through the area to unlock the other one. So it's a little bit different. I don't, I'm not surprised people 
missed it that area because I missed it too because I wasn't sure how to get there either. <laughs> I didn't get there like the first time when uh, when they showed up. I was like, huh? where are they? I didn't see the map. It's actually hidden in the in the corners. that DB but oh okay yeah Riona is still the honestly the best debuffer no doubt about it but 7 is really good debuffer too 7 you the spear uses a lot less special accuracy to slow them or land anything Let me see if I can run for it. Yes, sometimes you can't do that. Sometimes you can't just run past them because these guys will walk back over there. <laughs> I got lucky this time. I can just sprint, sprint directly there. It works sometimes, it doesn't work the other time. So don't be surprised if it doesn't work because you might need to take the longer route. So technically you can just run straight past everybody and get there if you get a good RNG spawn. And this time I did get a good RNG spawn, so it's pretty nice. Ring? Uh, the bow work is the uh, ring, ring of Tranquility at Stealth Mode. Ah oh, crap, my character is already down. Dang it. Yuji, I was missing. <laughs> I don't know what kind of stuff I have on him, but this is hilarious, though. <laughs> Ugh, this is not good. Can't believe they actually start attacking me. Once my character gets up, I'll be, I'll be a lot easier. Sometimes I sometimes it's kind of annoying because they can attack you right off the back and you can't really do too much. I know the Robin fight that will kill like Robin will actually hit you as soon as you finish the loading screen, so you can't you don't even have time to dodge it. It's like it's stupid. <laughs> it's too cheesy. This final revolution is enough to kill him. <laughs> it's not too bad. Only six more. Where are they gonna spawn at? It's 
kind of insane that this final revolution and that is enough to kill more. <laughs> what about the regular ring? There's not. There's only like there's some there's some weapons you can get, but you have to get the like really high levels and stuff to unlock them to have the bow work on them. Mostly just the uh, mostly just the uh, the ring that you can get the bow work on. Skull Reaper too. Yeah, Skull Reaper you can definitely get the get the rain because you that that stuff drops after two hundred for sure. But the thing is, if you don't get it like your your like ancient apostle bosses too high, it just uh, it gets a little bit more difficult. The other way to do it is uh, just you know like kill save save ten levels and. And restart until you get one. That way, they don't go up too high levels. Xbox. Hmm. Skull Reaper is pretty difficult, so honestly, that's one of the hardest uh, ancient apostle out there. If you can, maybe it's if it's possible to do the uh, to do a lower one. To do the other ancient apostle. Start to get uh, start to get much much more difficult. Yeah, there's some Xbox players over there that if they uh if they can help or have time i'm sure they can i know there's some xbox players that uh that plays quite a bit so Oh, nice. Yeah, because like, there's some PC players and then there's uh, Xbox players. And then also the, the laptop battery is low again, dude. 39%. Well, I guess I'm gonna plug it in again. <laughs> Just in case it doesn't uh, die. Okay, now it's plugged in. Uh, you just finished novel 900. That's not. That's pretty good. It does take a while to get up there for sure. Um, just, just have to 
it's really it's, like once you get to like the uh, once you get to the higher level ones, they they usually takes quite a bit of time, and hopefully you'll start getting the gears. But honestly, like fighting fighting level nine hundred ancient apostle, it's much more difficult than fighting the level nine hundred divine beast. Not gonna lie, because you can technically get the gears quite early, and um. And that way you'll be able to set it up a lot easier. Because even if you can get a good weapon that dropped from the ancient, like the divine level nine, just divine piece, you can still get a lot of, you know, much higher chance early on. But until you get your, until you get them to level nine hundred and something, it's gonna be difficult. Bring tranquility. It drops at two hundred plus. But you can also get it from the west, but I wouldn't recommend to farm the west because the west is too too long and but it's much much more difficult to yeah yeah using Zen fighter until you can actually get uh, what's it called get the good weapons. <laughs> yep. You just uh, plug it in somewhere and then hidden. Then you can play it. Okay, so here's the thing. The next part of the uh, story is like you get to choose the ending. So back then, I recommend people to try the backup save, but don't do it. If you do the backup save, you don't get the uh, the actual achievement. Because for for whatever reasons it um it bugged out like it doesn't count. I mean you get those two achievement if you back up safe right there where I just saved, you do get the achievement for the uh, two browns if you if you do one of them and then reload the other one, you actually do get the achievement. However, if you if you want the silver one, the final one, you have to actually play through five times. So it's kind of it's kind of dumb. I mean, it works for other games. It just doesn't work for this game. So yeah, in order to get all five trophies, you have to, or for the endings, you have to go through go through the uh, story. You beat it five times. Not necessarily going through the entire story, but two in the end and. One is 100 day, one is Broccoli, one is, uh, uh, what's it that's pretty much it, so. And it does take a little bit time. And then the normal ending as well. That's like the very first one. Now Proxy is actually quite annoying. No matter what difficulty you're, you're fighting him, he is actually quite annoying. So... I'm gonna go in and use uh, these buffs. Just farm gears and abandon that. Well, the thing with uh, Supreme is that you, you you don't really get like good gears to be honest. Like, th there's not many like gears you can really farm on Supreme. So, if you want to if you want to farm, it's not like. It, besides the steel armor, there isn't much to farm. But yes, you can abandon it any time you want, but it's just... There really isn't much to farm in the... Uh, in there, so... Yeah, builds in monitor. <laughs> that would be awesome, though. Mm-hmm. The thing is, doing on Supreme, it doesn't give you... It doesn't give you, like, items. That's the thing. It doesn't really... I don't think it matters, besides the steel armor. But yeah, you can you can just start Supreme and abandon it, go farm the, uh, those items that I showed. The, 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 uh, like, the SP, Abyssal Ring, and the other stuff. Totally fine. You can farm it for or on the uh, extreme as well. You don't have to farm it on the. Let's 
going with maximum speed. Yeah, the SP drop it on extreme as well. You can abandon the extreme and get it. You don't have to. You don't have to. Um, you don't have to do it on a supreme. Got a hazard before you use that. Oof. Yeah, you want to hazard him as fast as possible because he's going to use that move. Very annoying. The accuracy isn't a lot. They're only like level 90. <laughs> you can kill level 90 enemies. You don't need you don't need to worry about that. If you abandon, they go back to normal levels. They're not like super high levels. Kill him with a chain. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, if you abandon the Supreme or Extreme, they're gonna only be level 90. They're not super high levels. You can hit them. There's no really accuracy requirement to hit level 90 enemies at this point. So, yeah, that way you'll be fine. So for the blue rose, you have to do the surface one, which you'll fight. You will fight him in the floor two, or one. Um, actually, floor one. But to get the uh, nice guy, you'll have to do the uh, the the hardest one. Actually, one of them. Well, besides Bercoli, but Bercoli you do in right in the beginning. That's actually the hardest one. But the nice guy is actually second hardest. Um, and then the blue rose is probably one of the the well one of the, the easiest out of all three of them. Now the the thing is that if you if you like I said if you back up your save earlier if you choose one of these ending and back, like once you get the achievement then go back you get the other achievement you won't get the the silver trophy to see all the endings you actually have to come back here and pick the other choice and to do it so let's go underground. Because we want to fight the hardest one. So, if you can beat the level 999 at floor 100, you can beat the blue rose. Uh, there isn't much... There isn't much, uh, like, to say about that. It's the same phases. No, you, 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 if you abandon the, uh, if you abandon the, uh, what's it called? If you abandon it, you can still you can still get SP stuff on extreme. It's just, it's uh, it's fine. Uh, that's only on Yu-Gi-Oh. That's his sword. Can't use it. You can only use the nice guy. Okay, so from this point on, it's just you and Roku, so be careful. I don't think there's any enemies we have to really fight to really worry about in this part. However, I can show you where the frog um, area is when you abandon it. Uh, I know that I know the crab is here somewhere. That drops the SP Void Gauntlet. Uh, let me see if you can find it. Wait, who's over there? Oh, these are the birds. Never mind. 
You see, like what I meant, there's like there's like two teleporter. You can see another teleporter over there. So there's double teleporters. Now people are like, well, there's no two teleporter. Yes, there is one. You see it. There's one all the way over there, and there's one over here. So, te so technically, you can have two different teleporters. Yeah, the steel armor is only on supreme. Oh, this is the floor where you get the uh, the frog to get the uh, abyssal ring. Abyssal Rain, the SP, uh, the SP Abyssal Rain, the SP uh, Azure Sky Boots, and SP Stone Lotus Necklace. I couldn't get the Stone Lotus Necklace because uh, I don't have good RNG. <laughs> so what you gotta do is uh, to get the uh, to get the Abyssal Rain, you come over here. I don't know if I can spawn them here. Let me see. Let's go find them. Let's see if the froggy spawns. So this is the floor you have to keep repeat. You just go to that teleport and come back one like once you abandon it. Uh, right here you can get SP rings and free basically. Oh, we didn't get it. So technic so this part you can actually spawn the frog or spawn them. So this time we didn't get it. Just can't really do it. Yeah. I didn't get it, but it's okay though. I got a lot of the the uh, what's it called the uh, um, the the uh, abyssal ring and the the boots drop really like really like normal actually, but the only thing that doesn't drop is that the stone lotus necklace. I just couldn't get that. Wait a minute, that's the wrong place. Uh, which way do I have to go? I think I have to go that way or the other way. I need to go turn the light on real quick. Give me like a minute, because I think it's dark outside. I'll turn on the uh... <laughs> one second. I'll be right back. All right, let's continue. Um, looks like it's back there. Let's take a ride, I suppose. Yeah, we're almost there. But yeah, you can you can spawn the frog. I don't know if they spawn in the actual supreme, but I do know the lions does spawn in there sometimes. What the? What? I gotta go over there more. It looks really close, but it's not really close at all. No. What? <laughs> where, where is that teleport at? No. Looks like I'm running in a circle now. No. <laughs> Troll. What kind of indication is that? Oh, I think I, I think I just need to walk over there. Oh my god, I forgot about that. All right, I need to go backtrack. <laughs> so we got some dinos here. Oh, I see. Uh, might as well do some exploring while I'm here. But I think I ran too far because it should be there. It doesn't make any sense if it's not there. Uh, let me read some of the ancient apostle. I know the, I know there's a wall where you actually run past there is like an invisible. You can go through it, which is kind of funny. So we gotta go that way. There we go. Why aren't you using X to you collected you? Uh, I don't have it anymore because I already transferred to the. Uh, I already transferred to the uh, my new source. Oh, maybe we get froggy here. If you want to avoid the uh, golem spawn, just walk around it. Because if you walk through the middle, they will spawn. And uh, let me read some of that. 
Azure Sky Boot. Yeah, that one with Unrival, but better stats and stuff. Geobissal Ring. That one is very hard to get back in the day, so. <laughs> yeah, you can abandon it and then come up here. This is where the frog spawns. You can get them in the 80s. There's, it's not. It's not a specific. I guess the lion spawns here. I don't know. It's hard to confirm if they spawn or not in Supreme. But I do know if you abandon the uh, the runs on Extreme or Supreme, sometimes you can see the lion. Sometimes you can see two froggies up there. What floor is Azure Sky? Gotta watch it. The floor I was just on right here. The floor I was just there. <laughs> That's why I ran over there to see if they spawn or not. But you get them in the 80s. Just have to remember what they uh, looks like. Cause uh it's it's not it's different it's different in my game than yours sometimes. Just remember that. Because I might get it in floor, let's say if I I might get it in floor Yeah, you know, I might get it floor like 81, but you might get it floor 85. Just have to remember. So yeah. The the Azure Sky Boo is the same, it's the same location as the rain. The frog drops three items. The SP Stone Lotus Necklace, the SP Abyssal Ring, and the SP Azure Sky Boots. So it drops all three of the items. So you can farm all three of them at once. It's really it's really simple. <laughs> One enemy drops three good items. Yeah, but the one thing I can tell you is that the the item you're looking for for the four star, like the accessory, like the Stone Lotus Necklace Void Gauntlet, they are really rare drops. Really, really rare. I haven't got the Stone Lotus yet after I like did like so many hundreds of runs. So it's just terrible RNG. Uh, I'll go back farm at some point. I'll get it. Game doesn't like me a lot of time. They're not fixed stats. None of the none none of the stuff from the abandoned, like the actual SP, like like accessory and stuff, and the uh, and the, like the video that I talk about, like steel armor. All of them are random stats, so it's it's RNG based now. You're going back to the like. Hopefully your luck is good, and then you'll get the. You'll get some high stat one, but other than that, yeah. There's really there's really no fixed stats. Those are the one that goes up to like a hundred stats. And it can go down to like a single digit stats. That's a abyssal ring for you. You can get a hundred plus decks on it, or you can get like maybe ten decks, six decks on it too. <laughs> that is such a troll for the abyssal ring. You get like six decks on it. Ugh. Game is really trolling sometimes. You know, play the stop playing the DLC again. Yeah, you can you can just abandon the after you get to the four ten. Just abandon it and run all the way up here get it okay now I get three times let me see if the frog this is the map where you'll get the abyssal ring take a close look because I just remember what it looks like if you spawn in the, the red teleporter you spawn up here you see this 12 like teleporter across you this is the map you'll be looking for I'm gonna go check it out again and see if they're there so need four more and need... okay Yeah, Dex is fine. You can get it. It seems like only getting lions here, so I guess you do have to do the abandons, or I'm just having bad RNGs. But in the abandon, you can definitely get the uh, the frog spawns there. I guess I don't have any luck, or they just don't spawn in the Supreme. I'm I'm not sure because that's three times, and I didn't see it. I have three chances. Maybe we'll get more. Never mind, four times. 
We get four same map. Let's see if we can get it. Wait a minute, that's a different map. Never mind. That is a different layout. It's actually not the same one. It looks like the same, but it's not the same. Mm, layer 85. I mean 95. Almost there. So this separate stream is about almost two hours. That's not bad. So if I add the first one and the second one, that's an hour 30. So about three hours something. Something while excluding the uh, restarting stream and stuff. All right, made it to floor 100. About three hours. Three and a three and a half. That's about the right time usually, but you can get under three if you really set it up. Um, so usually the full the full run is about four hours or less. Um, so yeah, definitely. Let me uh, let me making sure. The bots are come here just spamming. It's funny. But yeah, didn't you get that too, Luca? <laughs> uh, lol. <sighs> That's too funny. Now we got some hentai bot actually spamming here. <laughs> uh, okay, so the one thing is that make sure you save here. If you want to play it really safe, back up your save right here. Back up your save. So yeah, some I remember that show up in your uh, <laughs> in your uh, what's it called in your uh, stream before. It was funny. So this is uh, the final boss fight. I recommend you just save right here. I play it safe. Back up your save. So now I need to change my build. Okay, let me see. I need to bust out the Zen Fighter. And this uh this time I will use the Zen Fighter to do it. Wait, where is it? Somebody have my Zen Fighter? Hmm. Maybe one of my AI has it, I don't know. Uh Oh, never mind. I was gonna say one of them have it. <laughs> that would be bad. So yeah, Zen Fighter cooldowns, Reapers galvanize. You'll need it. So this is will be the setup I'll be using Hazard and DPS. So what I did the first time when I beat it is I have a stainless sword and a galactic jewel, but. I don't need it anymore once I beat it the first time. But yes, you will need at least one. You know, the you'll need at least one sword, like the stainless one, and then one. You can do two stainless uh, steel, but if you don't have it, you can at least do one of one of the stainless one plus one uh, galactic jewel. But the thing is. You're gonna miss quite a bit of DPS, and it's gonna be um, a little bit difficult. But having the passive, you have the damage. Uh, well, the same one as usual, so that way I don't get HP back, and I can get do or die. Now for Roku, is that um, he's gonna carry all the buffs, so he definitely needs a God Rope for sure, and he's gonna need do or die. So once you have this. You can definitely. Um, this is the same exact same same like setups I use for the uh, for the like the first time when I beat it in the video the build. Um, I can probably do it now with uh, enough accuracy without with, without using Zen Fighter 
which is fine, but I'll do it with Zen Fighter because most people who get to this part of the fights, you have to use pretty much Zen Fighter to for the fight because if you even if you have 2k accuracy you're still not going to do enough dps the, the problem isn't like the accuracy the problem is the dps you need you need like, like heavy dps to take him down because you have 50 seconds to kill him for the second phase so that's the hardest one this is why i say if you don't have enough dps it'll it'll be bad so like for record wise i don't really need to change too much it's just bone leader and then for me i just need more speed I'm not going to be able to charge the speed in there. I'll be only able to use one speed. I mean, Reaper is a must to have because you kind of need to crit him. So it, I will, normally I will replace it for another speed. But in this case, most of these bosses, you need Reaper's Wrath to really do damage. So other than that, yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, setups. So there isn't much... I think I'll have more than enough damage to take him on this time, so let me see. For the SP ring, what passive skill has? Um, the Abyssal ring, it has the uh, it has the 5% here. I'll just show it real quick because I have the ring on myself, I think. Uh, where is it? Yeah, there we go. The SP... Uh, Abyssal ring. So you have the uh, lining speed, which is the same as from the EX, and then you have wits end. So this is what you will get for the uh, the abyssal ring. And the stat isn't too terrible, but the thing is, it's not. It's hard to get. Um, so so definitely recommend if you want to use a uh, ring of curses for sure. So to get more crit power, so three, I have three killing blows, so I'll get 90% power, crit power, so, and then I'm pretty much ready. So that's pretty much it, and save one last time when you change everything, and make sure you have the cooldowns on the AIs, like always important to check if you have it or not, but there's a chance I might, it might take me a, a, a few tries, there's a chance I might just do it once because sometimes it really depends on RNGs if your AI is not acting stupid in the boss, like the boss fight is just getting killed standing there yeah, other than that, be fine so, here we go this is the floor 100 boss I didn't get a chance to show all four phases because I got my guys, I, like I was saying, I was doing that on my PS5 and there's no way I have a footage of 3 hours I can edit so I can only edit the one footage, like within an hour, which the fight was longer. So here we go. The first phase he has, um, the first phase he has like seven level seven hundred something, but don't get fooled by that. You must destroy the shield first. No matter what. So this is the first phase you get into like you get into like you know ten percent HP or so. And then you go to the second phase. So you, it's important you must complete the requirement. This is the hardest phase coming up with the 50 seconds, so you gotta go quick. This is why I say you must you must have like higher dps for your swords because you're not going to output enough dps within 50 seconds it is actually important to have so this is where well, he will get up to he will get up to level 999 this is the hardest one you see 50 seconds so you must kill him in 50 seconds So once you drop his HP to a uh, seventy percent, you'll be fine. So you proceed to the next phase. If you don't get the, if you don't beat him until that certain HP, you lose the fight. It will go to like a normal ending, so you won't be able to get the sword. That's why I say it's important to save your game right before that. Now this will be a five-minute fight, so you'll you'll definitely have plenty of time. I 
not sure what happened to my billion blossom, but that's okay though. Don't need it. Really? <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is a bad time to have the low battery. <laughs> so this is the third, this is the final phase. You will have to fight him. So you have to complete all that requirements. First phase, 10, like 10 to 15% HP. Second phase, 50 seconds. Drop into 70% HP. That's the hardest one. Then you have five minutes to bring him down to 50% HP. To 40 or 50% HP. Now this is the full fight. Now this will be the final, no time limit. Maybe able to one down kill him, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. I felt like I could have one down him. I felt like if you have the right setup, you might be able to kill him one down though. So, it's definitely possible. Don't kill my Liz. I use the do or die so she can tank. No, Roku, don't fight him. <laughs> don't fight him. Just run, dude. Ugh, my god will run, so dangerous. Okay, he's aggro at me, so that's good, that's good. Ah, oh, crap. Liz, no. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. If I get hit once, I'm dead. Oof. I should have been, like, it's kind of insane though, you can actually almost one down kill him. Let's get up so I can use the buff. Alright, this is it. We should be able to take him. Damn, that, that first down though, that was insane. <laughs> uh, you gotta run, man. You can stay there and get killed, but... <laughs> Low. You, you restart if you die from... You, 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 if you die, you, you restart from the first phase. So you start from the very beginning one. So you basically have to do all four of them at once, and um, yeah, every time you fail, <laughs> that's it. <sighs> hey, what's up, Simple? So the whole stream is probably like two hours, a little, that was pretty quick. I mean, not two hours, but like almost four, so it's three and a half.
that's not like not too bad so hmm. uh. <laughs> we all start from the one million it's okay you know I didn't even do a million when I even started so yeah that's pretty much it for the setup so like I say, the fight is not gonna be that fast, but you gotta run around to stay alive. But if you use the one stainless steel plus one, uh, what's it called, galactic jewel, the fight will be much, much longer. You're definitely not gonna hit like 500 mil the first down though, so <laughs> that's for sure. But I'm just, I'm just curious, and I felt like I could have one down kill him if I have enough setups or something if I weren't missing some of the stuff I could have killed one down maybe with a better sword I can definitely kill with one down but that's a that's a tough one though still now like after that you'll get the sword for sure um, once you complete it but the thing is I like, just have to remember like to set up your AIs and stuff it's actually more important um, yeah we did finish the uh, whole thing in one uh, one go so it's not too bad I'm not sure why I carry this when I have the sword itself as the galvanized though. Mm -hmm. Oh well. But yeah, that's the original setup because back then I didn't like I don't have that sword or I didn't have the sword, so I had to use a galvanized plus. But yeah, that's pretty much how you would fight Robin is that just keep running like the, the first three phases, like the second phase is the hardest one, like I said. So if you don't get that, then your chances are it's gonna be very difficult and um, yeah that's pretty much it for the fight the other fight the it's quite simpler it's much much easier to get and it doesn't all you gotta do is drop his H you still have that 50 seconds for the second phase but the third phase you just gotta drop him to 50% HP I think within five minutes and then you you win the fight and that's pretty much it for the entire run so this it's actually a not bad run besides the internet kept glitching out so yeah um i hope you guys enjoy the uh, stream and it's kind of like i say the the only problem was like i wish i could have fit the entire stream into the uh, <laughs> the whole the whole like a one duration but well the internet says no tonight so i had to re reset it and then restart another stream so i had to, so i just make it two parts so it's okay though and other than that yeah that's pretty much it how you uh how you would build your ais and get your team setups and uh yeah the most important ones are these ais like you you want to set them up and then uh get get the stuff ready so other than that that's pretty much it for the uh stream for the uh the whole playthrough for the uh in one video well two videos two streams um could have easily been one if it didn't crash but the thing is um you really need to watch out is that uh huh yeah it's the ai setup is important that's what takes it takes a lot to get up there um yeah you definitely need ai setup <laughs> so basically basically like to get to the final boss once you get to the final boss it's still pretty difficult so you just have to be careful like i say you see what i meant like my, like roku was acting being an idiot because like normally if he's not acting like an idiot he'll he'll run with you so that was if you can get him to do that to run with you then you don't have to worry about being killed individually because because robin will Robin will target him while you're running around so you want him to run around with you so you don't get hit and um, it's quite annoying um, so yeah and then I don't know why these guys keep hitting <laughs> these hentai bots so funny <laughs> never learn uh. Some people just don't learn <laughs> with the bot spam. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like the the hardest fight is staying alive. The damage wise, um, you can do you can break his uh, shield and hazard him. Well, you're gonna need to hazard him. But yes, you can use the Zen Fighter. 
you pretty much need the Zen Fighter because I can I can duel with this sword right now to not use Zen Fighter. But the thing is, uh, for the purpose of like doing it as original as possible, is that the fight will take much longer. It might take you quite a few tries if you do get there, and. The most important part is trying to show the uh, AI build to get there. So that's the hardest part. Like the boss fight itself is actually pretty straightforward, but it's just that you gotta keep Roku alive by using Gavro. But the thing is, if they start to attack the, uh, if they start to attack Robin, then there isn't much you can do. They're gonna get killed. When they go down, you're gonna wait longer time for the buffs. To come back so if you can do that without without getting your ai's killed then you could have you can definitely finish the fight a lot easier but there isn't much i can do there because rogu is like i want to go use my axe on him real quick and then he ends up get he ends up got though he's the one got axed it so so that's like one of the problem is that to keep your AI alive or keep yourself alive is like waiting for the buff to come back because you regardless you're gonna need to wait for the buff to come back even with like almost um, max stuff you can almost one down kill him but not quite so with with the old setup with the stainless steel and the galactic I mean galactic jewel it will take I say at least five times to like you will have to do that rotation for five times running around and set it up for five like cooldown buff cooldown buff because maybe you can do it in four but it's still very difficult if you only use a stainless and a galactic jewel but if you have two stainless steel sword then you might be able to do it in three downs or so depends how far you plus so hey what's up man how's it going so that's pretty much it um for the boss fight the boss fight is difficult the reason why is like I already done it a few times, so it's not like it, it's not too bad anymore. It's just still like every time I walked in there, I still worry because he might one shot me while I'm the loading screen or something. Because uh, he can do that if you're doing the other end thing while you're loading screen. If you fail, you have to go from you have to walk from floor 20 to 2, take out 30 mobs, then fight the boss. That's the hardest part. So if you fail any of that fight, you have to start from the beginning. So you have to redo all four phases. That's why I say it's, yeah, it'll take uh, some setups and uh, once you get there. and But once you do get there, you just have to practice a little bit because um, it is hard to, it is hard to beat him the first time. So you might fail a few times. That's okay though. It took me three hours to figure out the strategies for it, but by dying a lot. But just uh, remember to back up your saves and stuff. So the key part of the stream is uh, build your AIs, like I say, you know, just build your AIs. And you guys can go back to see each part where I show the AIs and what they use to fight. And that way it will help quite a bit. Because you only need like plus, you can probably do it plus 30 if you have the one star gear. So plus 50 will definitely be overkill, so regardless. And um, Robin isn't too bad. That's only if he doesn't like target like your AIs or something, we'll be fine. But the other thing is like the Bercoli's fly, I'm still working on it. It's quite difficult. I need to go find a couple things before I can even start. Like I already tested and I only got him to like, like half HP or more so the time is not enough yeah that one will be the ultimate hardest one for for the like for the uh, for that weapon but other than that it's not too bad so I wish they gave us some other weapons than the katana the katana is really 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 slow when you're fighting him it's just ugh. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the stream, and I'm gonna go, you know, rest a little bit and then farm some of the stuff, and um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it, and uh, yeah, for the uh, full play, th for the full playthrough for the um, Supreme, and uh, yeah, take it easy, and I'll see you guys next time.